Hello there, I'm Infinity, and today I'll be showing you how to create this awesome 3x3 spiral door for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And I'll also be showing you how to connect two buttons to it so that you can open it from both sides. So let's get right into it. As you can see, if I press this button, it opens. And if I press this button, it closes right up behind me. And yeah, let's get right into the tutorial. So the materials you're going to need to build this 3x3 spiral door are 15 redstone dust, 3 redstone torches, 10 redstone repeaters, 3 observers, 1 dropper, 1 target block, 1 redstone block, 10 sticky pistons, 1 slab, 12 solid blocks for your door, and about a stack of building blocks. These have to be solid blocks and one obsidian, and finally a lever. So the first step to building this 3x3 spiral door is to clear out a 9 block long, 2 block wide, and 8 block tall area. And your frame for your door will be 2 blocks above the floor of the area that you just dug. First off, place two sticky pistons right here, then place a sticky piston right here, two sticky pistons right over there, come up to the top, place three sticky pistons facing down just like so, and for the last part, come and place two sticky pistons right there. If you completed all that properly, your sh door should be looking like this. So now, come over to the bottom, place an observer facing towards the stick, this bottom sticky piston. You can tell that if you did that right, this arrow on the top should be facing into that piston. Then, place a repeater onto the observer facing into this sticky piston and set it to 4 ticks. Grab your solid blocks and place them onto that repeater and place a redstone dust down here. It's okay if that piston fires, then place a block over here, a repeater over here, set to three ticks. You can do that by clicking it twice, an observer over here, another repeater set to three ticks, place a dropper over here, an observer onto the top of that dropper, and a solid block. Next, place another repeater. Set also set to three ticks, place a block over here, two redstone dust just like so, a block right on top of that redstone dust, and a block on top of the floor. Place a repeater facing into this top piston and set it to three ticks. Next, place a repeater facing out here and set it to four ticks, place a block over here with redstone dust on it, and place a redstone target block over here, place a redstone torch like so, a block on top of it, and a redstone torch over here, and a redstone torch over here. Place a block on top of that redstone torch, and a repeater facing out toward uh, away from this block. Then shift and place a block onto that repeater and a block onto this piston. Place two pieces of redstone. Then grab your half slab, uh, place two temporary blocks, then place your half slab, and then break those two temporary blocks. You can place redstone on your half slab, place a block over there, and four blocks in this setup just like so. Place redstone over here and redstone over here. A repeater facing into this piston and redstone over here. A block and a repeater set to two ticks facing into this piston. Place a block onto that piston and place a block onto this over here. Place a repeater. Next, place two blocks over here and two redstone dust just like so. 
place a block over that piston, a repeater facing outward, a block onto that repeater, and a block onto this piston with redstone dust onto that block. Next, place a block over here with redstone dust, and place a sticky piston with a redstone block onto that sticky piston, and place a block over here with redstone. Finally, place your one block of obsidian and place your lever onto this block. And it should all be working. Now I will show you how to connect this door to two buttons so that you can open it from both sides. So the materials you're gonna need to hook up this door to two buttons are about a stack of redstone dust. This amount varies for how far your buttons are from the door. Some repeaters, one comparator, two droppers, one hopper, a varying amount of blocks, and finally, of course, two buttons. So in order to connect it to two buttons, you're going to need a little bit more room, and this really depends on how far your buttons are from the door. So the first step is to break this lever and place a dropper facing up over here, a dropper facing over into that block, and a hopper facing into the bottom dropper. Then place a comparator facing into this block. Finally, place one item, it can be any item, into the bottom dropper. Then place a block over here and repeater into that dropper. And yeah, that's really it. All you need to do is connect a redstone line and you got two buttons. So I will connect a redstone line all the way around this thing. So I'll place one button over there and one button over here. And as you can see, if I press this button, the door activates and I can also close it from here. And if you, as you can see, it closes from this side and it can also open from this side. However, if it doesn't open, from either of your buttons, it may be that your redstone signal isn't strong enough. So for every 15 blocks that your redstone travels, you might want to add in a repeater. Uh, what a repeater does, it repeats the redstone signal so it can last for another 15 blocks. In this case, I didn't have a redstone line as long as 15 blocks, so I'm good. If you like entrances, then you might want to watch this video over here. And in this video, I teach you how to build some secret staircases for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And yeah, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 50 subscribers by the end of the year. And if you made it this far into the video, then that means that you really liked it. So you should subscribe. I'll be opening my Discord server once I reach 50 subscribers. See ya.